Air Force men and women paraded Andrews Air Force Base to honor retiring Chief of Staff General Nathan F. Twining. Air Force Secretary Douglas decorates General Twining with an oak leaf cluster to the Distinguished Service Medal and congratulates him on his new assignment as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Some 5,000 of Washington's officialdom turned out to see a parade of aerial progress. In General Twining's 38 years of military service, he has witnessed and had a hand in the growth of America's aerial might. Today, jet-powered and deadly, the B-52 and its partner in peace, the KC-135 aerial tanker, symbolize our strength in the air. Supporting tactical fighters, the KB-50 with a triple hose refueling capability. Prop jet powered, C-130 Hercules, cargo giants of the sky. F-102 Delta Daggers, all-weather interceptors. TV comic Red Skelton and family show rapt interest in the 272-plane demonstration. B-57 Canberra's. 96 B-47s from bases all over the country rendezvous at Andrews in an example of split-second strategic timing. The spectators honoring General Twining get a glimpse of Air Force guided missile might in the Falcon guided aircraft rocket. The air-to-ground strategic missile, Rascal. The Bomark, a pilotless interceptor. Matador, a tactical missile. And the intercontinental range strategic weapon, Smart. Twenty-seven B-52s from bases scattered nationwide climax one of the largest peacetime demonstrations of flying skill and timing. A fitting tribute to General Nathan Twining, first Air Force General to become Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. A signal honor, highlighting Air Force achievements in its first ten years as the nation's independent air arm.